Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm getting excited for this one because this is the social media training guide. The big old guide that we used every single day for our annoying posting. So, I wanted to go over this one because I wanted to break everything down. So disclaimer, do not go after any of these people. Do not go and bully them. We're not here to bully, we're here to educate. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming to us. To my TED talk and let us begin. So let's get this moved up here. So the social media training guide. Um, setting up your Instagram. So you got to keep it personal. Don't include it at work, skinny rap or rap or anything like that in your bio or screen name, which a lot of people did, still do. And yeah, that's, that's all for that. So, but anyways, um, they basically told you to make sure that your profile is public, not profit, because people actually have to request to follow you and then you have to accept them, blah, 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 blah. Um, make sure you put your Facebook link in for your website. Um, you can't do that. It won't let you. It won't let you do that on Instagram. won't let you do that on Facebook now. And it definitely did not then. So this was outdated then as well. Um, grow your followers daily. So basically they're saying add whoever the heck you want, as many people as you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how sketch they look. It doesn't matter how um how they don't even seem to fit in to your niche or anything. Just start adding people. They also put in the search for certain ha hashtags like Brad Engage New Mom. Milso? What is a Milso? And follow those people. So <laughs> This one's one that aggravates me. The new mom. The new mom hashtag. Like, leave them alone. They just gave birth. Leave them alone. They don't need your skinny wraps. They need to take care of their child. Okay? Shut up. Um, just think about your target market and follow those people. So basically they told me like if you like in photography, follow follow the photography hashtag and then follow those people and talk to them. If you liked like a certain movie or you had a certain hobby other than other than photography, obviously, like if you knitted or something like that. So it says make it your goal to try to follow every hour. Instagram will allow you to follow forty to sixty people every hour. Like who sat and counted that? When I started, I only had 400 followers, and now I have 8,100 just from doing this. So you're just adding, you're probably following a bunch of bot accounts. Oh, I'm sorry, that was mean. It's so important to be a real person. Um, they say this, and then you have to be positive all the time. Yes, you're using your Instagram for your business, but if you want people to reach out to you and not unfollow you, you need to be real. What I suggest this doing doing is when someone likes one of your photos go to the page and like five photos and comment on one of them obviously you probably won't do it for everyone because you would be on your phone all day um they we were doing it all day because we were told we had to it is all about building relationships in this business with both your customers and teammates um, your job as a distributor is to show the product and opportunity to people in the next sections i will go over how you assign little customers um, we don't have to go over that again um you look at your Instagram, you're probably only seeing pictures from maybe 30 minutes to an hour ago. Not anymore. You can, well, even back then, like I could see some from like a week ago. So you didn't have to, you don't have to post as much as they said you had to. I don't care about that or that or that. Oh, here's the F's, the F's that I was going off about. Faces, like a selfie, a selfie with a finger held up. I love taking a selfie with me holding up how many fingers of who I just enrolled who I'm talking to, etc. It shows that my business is actually growing. Put your fingers down. Didn't your mama teach you not to point at people? Fashion, clothes, makeup, hair, beauty. That's if you're a woman. I mean, well, if you're a man too, you probably could. But once I live marketing, is pretty much dominated by women other than the CEOs. Um, funny. So something funny, I guess. You can't use dry, sarcastic, bad humor, dark humor, anything like that because that goes against it works. That's not positive. That is not toxic positivity to the max, guys. Um, family. I do maybe two or three of these Fs to one before and after picture. And always the before and after pictures, which were not always correct. Oh. Okay? Not always correct. Um, Supposed your family, exploit your children, exploit 
your husband, exploit your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, exploit them. Is that angrily? Go through like that. Um, B, you do not be a salesman on Facebook. Well, actually, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, be sure you interact with people on your Facebook, like their posts, comment, to be, and be genuine. Awesome. Okay. Blitz people. Now, <laughs> there's blitz people when you go to school, go to work. Um, acquaintances, friends. Oh, God. <sighs> this is just toxic. Um, you want to post about one to two products daily with testimony with your own testimony or others testimonies which it was mostly others others testimonies because who has the time and the moolah to buy all these products and try them talk about why you di decided to join at work so daily put your why out there to like continuously pick the scab off and make things bleed share the opportunity daily oh how, what this did for me i got a 12 dollar paycheck last week and i'm going to i'm going to Put that twelve dollars towards my next auto shipment. Uh, sorry. Be sure to stay positive, excited. Here's the toxic positivity: excited and post your normal everyday stuff in between your at works posts, inspirational quotes, interactive posts, and posts about real life stuff is always good. Always be happy. Be be happy. Instead of be be aggressive, it's be be happy. Be be happy. Instead of be be aggressive, guys. Lord have mercy. That's all of it, but you can locate some, tons of post ideas in the new distributor training page. On Facebook, under the albums, locate the scripts and post ideas. So basically copy and paste somebody else's that we found that was kosher, cool, fun. Ignore that. <laughs> but so basically the tips were post so many pictures that people get annoyed and finally just start blocking you, unfollowing you, unfriending you. Um, make sure everything's positive. Show everything you do, even up to when you're going to the bathroom to take a dump. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 could, I could sum this up in just a few minutes. Literally just a few minutes for you guys. And it would have been post everything you do. Post 15 products that you don't use. Post about how much money you're making when in reality you only got a $12 paycheck. Um, Talk about how wonderful this opportunity is, even though you're wallowing in $5,000 worth of debt, trying to slowly scrape your way out of it um, with your $12 paycheck. That, well, you can't even use that towards your debt because you're still buying your, you're still buying your auto ship so that you can keep getting paid your $12, you know. And I'm not, you know, definitely not saying that as, you know, being salty or anything about my own experiences or anything like that you know my $12 paychecks that I'm salty about but <laughs> oh and then all the team calls get on all the team calls make sure you get on all the team calls make sure you oh, I could quit beating on this thing it's going to get man make sure you get on all the team calls do the power hours talk to people annoy the heck out of them to the point that they just want to slap you so freaking hard as your teeth fall out Oh, and also get super annoying about that crazy wrap thing that all it does is get rid of excess water in the bubbler. Doesn't get rid of fat. And, okay, I know that these weren't out in 2016, 2017 when I was ending my run with It Works, but those stupid slimming gummies that attack your belly fat. No, it doesn't. It, it doesn't do that. It's just apple cider vinegar and a gummy. And it doesn't just, it doesn't attack your belly fat. Stop believing that. Also, if you want some good social media tips, don't follow any tips from a multi-level marketing hunt. Thank you guys for watching. This one's a little bit shorter, but I'm sure you're going to love and appreciate it. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.